All right, Ray, thank you. This morning, a lot of people continuing to reflect on the life and legacy of Henry Block. Oh, yeah, he was the co-founder of the Kansas City-based H&R Block, huge company. Yeah, absolutely. He was a monumental force behind the Nelson Atkins Museum and World War I Museum as well. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez begins our coverage. As Kansas City mourns the passing of Henry Woolman Block, cultural institutions are taking a moment to reflect on the legacy of the titan that championed his hometown. Mr. Block's fingerprints are all over the city in really very good ways. Block, who served as a navigator on 32 combat missions in World War II, was a longtime supporter of the World War I Museum and Memorial. In the years where the memorial had gone into disrepair and some deferred maintenance had caught up with the memorial, he was one of those who believed in its resurrection. But his contributions went beyond the financial ones. The investment that he made in people, he challenged ordinary people to be extraordinary. That sentiment fell to the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. He touched everyone's lives in the museum and he had a word for each of us, everyone from our guards to every person. And he, he always had a right word, an encouraging word as such. But because of that, I've never seen a team work as hard and as fast to accomplish something with the greatest excellence, but in a short period of time. And that work resulted in the block galleries that houses his personal collection of paintings. What I think his legacy will be is really in every, in the care and the love that he had for this institution reflected in our walls. A community remembering a visionary that illuminated Kansas City. Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News Today.